The Blues wrap up a five-game homestand against Ovechkin and the Capitals. As Tarasenko looks on, Tim Peel gets set to drop the puck. Blues hockey is sponsored by Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. For the Blues, it is David Backus between Patrick Berglund and T.J. Oshie. And for the Capitals, their big line of Nicholas Backstrom, Alex Ovechkin, and the young rookie Tom Wilson, who just turned 20. And the Blues send it in. Comes around now for Oshie. And a long floating shot. And the goaltender, Justin Peters, reacted very late on that one. Yeah, and a good angle of it from here. No way that he could see that puck. It went over about three sets of shoulders on his way on top of the net. And now it's Backstrom. Pass on the wing. And a shot wide by Wilson, who's a big boy, and just missed there. Yeah, he did not play last night in their 1 0 loss at home. He's a physical player. You've got to keep your head up at all times. Here's Bergman for Petrangelo. He darts in. Pass to the front. And now Matera gets it a drive right on goal. And a save there after Tarasenko missed it down the slot. And now Ovechkin drops it off. And the puck up the boards cut off by o Tarasenko for Yuri Matera. Back in front. And that is taken care of by Ovechkin. And he gets on to center ice. Now a pass into the wing for Burakovsky, who's out of Austria. Another young forward on this capital club. And Shattenkirk works it away for Laterra. And then for Schwartz. Try to find Tarasenko. That was off a leg. And the Caps head the other way. Carl Alsner ahead. Now in for Johansson, number 90. And that trickles in on goal. And that is covered by Brian Elliott. And Darren Ardop starting goaltenders, Brian Elliott, 6 3 and 1. Is 4-2 lifetime against the Capitals. And Justin Peters, the former Carolina Hurricane goaltender, of course he played last year for Kirk Mullins. And much like the St. Louis Blues, the Washington Capitals brought in a new goaltending coach in Mitch Korn. We're familiar with Mitch from his days in Nashville, along with Barry Trotz. And the Blues go offside here. I think for Barry Trotz, it's always an adjustment. You stay in one city for as long as he stayed in Nashville. He started the foundation, and he put hockey as a culture sport in Nashville right on the map, did an excellent job there. And an incredible run. In fact, he's had a little bit of a run against the Blues too, John. He's won four of the last five games that he's coached against the Blues. But 15 years in one spot as a head coach in four sports, that is almost unheard of today. And the puck is lobbed down the ice. Ian Cole back, and he will get to the dots first on the hybrid icing, and we get the whistle. Well, when you make changes like that with your head coach, there's wholesale changes as well. George McPhee out, Brian McClellan in, Barry Trotson is the new head coach. We mentioned Justin Peters, and uh, Brooks Orpik came alongside Matt Niskanen as unrestricted free agents, both signed from the Pittsburgh Penguins and the former Blue Todd Reardon assistant coach with Pittsburgh is now an assistant coach as well. And here's Petrangelo shot on goal and that's bobbled a bit by Peters but he gets the mitt down and we get a whistle. A little clean face off win and Bomeister and Petrangelo going D to D as you can see Bomeister with his head up all the way walks the line just a little bit moves it over to the far angle and certainly from that angle Petrangelo is looking for a redirection either from the high slot with Paul Stastny or with the uh, net front presence there of Alexander Steen. The Blues won 58% of the draws the other night and they win another one. Petrangelo pumps it back of the goal. Ryan Reeves there worked along by Matt Niskanen but that is kept in by Steve Ott. And now Niskanen, who began his career with Dallas. Long pass, stretch pass. That goes the distance. And another icing call against the Caps, who, as I said, lost last night at home. one nothing to the Devils. Well, in back-to-back -back nights like that for Washington Capitals, I'm sure that Ken Hitchcock is expecting a little bit of a slow start here. And I, I, I don't think... I mean, Hitchcock probably doesn't mind that knowing that you're good on the dots you're gonna get chances off the offensive zone face off but make no mistake Ken Hitchcock and the Blues want to make this a five on five game it's not a game that you want to exchange power plays with uh, with the Washington Capitals both power plays have been excellent Blues are second best in the NHL and the Caps are third best in the NHL 
I think both coaches might say that. Don't give the other team a power play tonight. And now Ott wins another draw. Back for Gunnarsson. And then for Reeves, down low for Ott. And he can't get to the front. And then a big hit on the board. LaPierre gets it around for Ott again. And now Reeves curls under the corner against Niskanen. On the cycle for LaPierre. That is broken up by Jay Beagle, who played last night on the Capitals' top line. But is on this fourth line tonight. Beagle gets it in behind the Blues' goal. And then Gunnarsson reverses for Shattenkirk in a rather risky route there. Yeah, I don't think he saw Kuznetsov coming in as the second four checker there. And now Shattenkirk fakes the shot to the front. And that's tipped just wide by Lapierre. Good play by Shattenkirk. And now it's grabbed by John Carlson. And around for Orpik. He signed a big five-year deal as, a Dar as Darren said was a UFA after spending his entire career all 11 years with Pittsburgh. Well, John, we talked about Kevin Shattenkirk at the, in the open of our show, and obviously he and Gunnarsson both plus three at even strength in the last game. Here he darts around, C-92, wipe his nets off. All he has to do is stop, and maybe he eliminates that move, but Shattenkirk got in all the way down the offensive zone, got a pretty good chance. And now David Backus in his own zone. Off the boards for Oshie, one-on-one -on -one against Orpik. And they collide in the corner. And then Oshie trying to shake free. And then Backus comes along to help out. Blues have had the first three shots of the game. Petrangelo can't hold it in, but he hooks it back to Berglund. And now Petrangelo. And again, the Blues play the dump and chase game. Back is after it. Let's it go to Petrangelo. Risky pass there. That's picked off by a dangerous guy in Ovechkin. And he comes in on Bomeister. And a good stick there by Jay Bomeister. And the Blues wind up in their own zone. Oh, Tursenko a hit on yeah. Wilson back in the corner. Yeah, Wilson tried to initiate that hit. And uh, Tara, he just bounced off Tarasenko. And now the Caps with Burakovsky. Into the zone, and a shot, now a backhander on goal, he fanned on the shot, then got it on net, and a good save by Elliott. Interesting to note there, Yuri Laterra, John, was slapping a stick on that rush, seeing, seeing if uh, if Burkowski was going to drop the puck back to him right here. He's, he's trying to signal to him, drop it back to me, and try to see if he can't fool the young for, former first-rounder, Burkowski goes off the toe of his blade, and... Burkowski's making quite a change here in the NHL, John. He's a natural winger. They've got him at center ice. Last year he was a winger with the great Connor McDavid in Erie of the Ontario Hockey League. And he's a 19-year-old out of Austria. Now it is Jackman. He'll feed it back the line. Now across for Cole. A shot and a blocker save there by Peters. And then rolled ahead by Johansson. That's out of the reach of Troy Brower. And collected by Cole to his partner Jackman. Now on for Steen. Three caps are back, so Steen has to drag the puck a bit. Now in front for Stasny, and he got in too tight for a shot. Now Stasny back for Gunnarsson. Fakes the shot. On to Shattenkirk. Right in front. Tipped on goal by Stasny, and a save by Peters. That's a smart play there by Gunnarsson. Because basically, the Washington Capitals were swarming towards Gunnarsson on that play, and that allows Shattenkirk a lot of room. See, Shattenkirk's not shooting this puck to score. He's making a shot pass right over there to Stasny. Stasny's stick being held right there by Chimera. I mean, he had a full grab of that stick right there and never got called in front. Two referees, Tim Peel and Steve Kazari. Neither one of them saw that little hold there. Subtle little play. Ends up being a smart play by Chimera. Bad break for the Blues. But both Kazari and Tim Peel tend to call a lot of penalties, but they've let a few go early on. Now the Blues win a face-off. Shattenkirk, he walks the line. Big wind-up and a fake shot now for Tarasenko. Tarasenko a drive. That was off a skate in front. And now Gunnarsson rolls it back on the goal for Schwartz. Niskin in there for the Capitals. And they take over. And Michael Latta on to center ice. Well, Tarasenko put himself in a good position there. Third man high, top of the circle. Now Tarasenko tips it ahead for Shattenkirk. He darts in on his wing, off wing rather, pass in front, and a good back check there by Latta. And the Capitals up the wing for Alster, not out. Schwartz for Latera, the drive, and a pass save by Peters. And he's been tested early and often here. 
And both clubs make changes. Almost six minutes gone by first period. Blues lost both games last year to the Capitals by identical four to one score. And this is an icing call against the Blues. When you talk about three forwards being very close to one another on this turnover by the Washington Capitals, let this roll here for a moment, fellas. We'll see on this side of the ice is where the play is going to take place here as we see this roll. And Schwartz reads the play off the boards there. A little give and go back. Schwartz gets it back and he looks for Laterra. Uh, just a quick shot there where you see three forwards within about probably 10 feet from one another. And that's a great example, Darren, of the small ice game that Hitchcock likes to call it, that these guys do so well. And a shot by Oshie on goal. Turned away by Peters. And then Bacchus follows up. And that comes around for Burakovsky in the puck to center ice. You've got to be so aware of Ovechkin there. He's trying to fly the zone there. As soon as the D have the puck, he's trying to fly the zone. Now the Blues get the puck in. Here's a two-on-one. Bacchus and Oshie. For Oshie in the play. Backhander. And that goes just wide the goal. And then the Bacchus pulled down in the corner. Now Bergwood jams it back for Bowmeister. That drive tipped wide by Oshie. And the puck up the wall again, held in by Bowmeister. Now Bacchus slides it back. Bowmeister chips one down low. Here's Oshie, who played over 22 minutes the other night after missing seven games. Bacchus a shot. That's stopped. Oshie to the line. Petrangelo! That's off a shin pad right to Bowmeister. And his wrist shot hit a body on the way through. And then back is run down back of the goal by Carlson. Puck stays in the zone courtesy of Reeves. What a shift here by the Blues. And now in the midst of a line change, it comes to center. Ott rolls it back in. Blues tag up. Here they come again. Ryan Reeves a shot. Off Orpik and wide. And now Troy Brower up the wing. Kept in. Great four check by the Blues. Here's Ott from the circle. And that was stopped in front to a wide open Jackman. Puck rolled on him. And then he flies it back for the goal. Odd is there again. And that was intercepted by the Capitals. And finally back to center ice. What a couple of shifts there by the Blues, Darren. Yeah, and after that line change, Reeves came out and he made a couple of really good reads in the offensive zone to keep the play and keep the pressure on Washington. Well, almost there wires it in. Johansson, number 90, to the line. And pitch forked away by Steve Ott. And then Alzer again. He looks in front. That was going wide. Well, he got the stick down anyways. And now Ian Cole runs Alzer to the ditch. And the puck back of the goal for Joel Ward. And he squeezed off the puck by Jackman. And Jackman reverses course. Quickly ahead for Lindstrom. Now Stasny back to Lindstrom. And he works in on Ulster. And a good defensive play there by the former first rounder of the Capitals. And flown off the board by Eric Fair. Blues get it back at center ice. Here's Shattenkirk. In traffic now for Lindstrom. And he backhands it deep. Relentless pressure early on by the Blues, but no score. And now Niskin in at the middle of the ice. Picked off by Tarasenko. And he tried to walk Green, but good. And a good job there by Mike Green. And he takes offense, but now dumps it in as the cap big changes here. A good backside pressure there by Tarasenko following Green. Now the Blues to center. Here's a pass into Schwartz. He cuts in. Toe drag. In front. A shot. The score! Wonderful move down the left side to begin this play. A quick little toe drag, and, and Schwartz gets it away from the defenseman as much as possible, and it allows a little tic-tac-toe passing. Laterra becomes the late man there. Laterra, when you look at the neutral zone here, wins that battle right there, chips it beyond green, and then here's the toe drag move there by Schwartz, fanned on, and then a little backhand pass right to the oncoming Laterra. I think what's fascinating, John Kelly, you've noticed every goal that Laterra has scored so far this year. As soon as he scores, he pulls the sweater out from his tucked pants. Do you notice that? He scores a goal and, and pulls the sweater out from his pants. I did not notice that. That's a good catch. <laughs> we'll have to ask him why. And he extends his point streak to seven games with his seventh of the year. And the Blues lead 1-0 in the goal at 9-11. 
Shots are 7-1 for the Blues. Schwartz and Shattenkirk get the assist on the goal. So Schwartz with points in six straight as well. And now, oh, Blues player Gunnarsson just fell down there. Picked up by Burakovsky. And then in on goal, a shot by Alster. And saved there by Elliott as Alster had a great chance. Their best chance so far. Now Steen down the wing for Lindstrom. And the goaltender Peters shovels it ahead, kept in by Shattenkirk. One fake shot. Now a wrist shot. And that hit traffic on the way through. And another great forecheck by Lindstrom. And now in front for Steen. Steen a drive and a blocker saved by Peters. Held in by Jackman. Give and go. Jackman a shot. And that's turned away. And now it comes down to Lindstrom. The Blues clearly the fresher team in the first ten and a half minutes of this first period. And they lead by one. Looking for more. Shattenkirk in front. Intended for Steen. Now Steen gets it. And he rolls off his check by Kuznetsov. Finally coming up here. It's going to be a holding call. Both referees have their arm up on this call. Now Reeves back on the goal. On this delayed penalty. And now the Capitals do touch it. And we get a holding minor. All Blues early on. And the STL line does it again. 1-0 Blues lead here at Scott Trade, a jammed house here downtown. And our Toyota keys to the game, John Kelly, are these. Keep the pucks behind the Washington Capitol defense. The Blues have done an excellent job of that so far. And we talked about it earlier, stay out of the penalty box. Make this a five-on-five -five game as much as possible. Keep the flow going, especially knowing Washington played a tough one last night, losing 1-0 against New Jersey. And there's Tarasenko's world junior Russian teammate, Evgeny Kuznetsov, as Tim Peel and Steve Kuzari both made the call at the same time. And speaking of getting the puck behind the Caps' defense, the Capitals' defense and their defensive zone, they've turned it over seven times already in this game in their own zone. Their entire team losing the power play for the first time tonight. Eight for their last 20. They're red hot. Schwartz for Steen. Now across to Tarasenko. And a drive, and he missed the goal. And it comes around the boards. Shattenkirk to hold it in. Down low for Laterra. Great pass back. Here's Steen. There was no screen there. Now Steen plays it around. Tarasenko with it in on goal and a shot. And that was wide by a foot or so. Now Tarasenko again in traffic. Lost it. And the puck shot down the ice by Orpik. Well, Tarasenko does a great job of disguising the puck. He keeps it on his backhand so the goalie can't even see the, 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 the puck on the front of his blade, John, for as long as possible. Now Stasny in for Lindstrom. With 105 to go in the power play. Capitals intercept, and it is shot down the ice by Shamara. Again, the Blues goal, Laterra from Schwartz and Shattenkirk at 9-11. Now the Blues with a power play, under eight to play first period. Oshie, stick handles beautifully into the zone for Petrangelo. That is read well by Alster, and cleared back down the ice. And Brian Elliott leaves it for Oshie. He had a power play goal the other night. And the Blues eight power play goals in their last six. Tarasenko, and he was slowed up at the line, and that put the play offside. Well, when you talk about players and their ability to disguise a shot, Tarasenko's got it here on the backhand, and he waits, gets it on the forehand. It might have fluttered a little bit off the toe of his blade. He's trying to get it over the stick of Carlson, and then over the blocker of the goaltender, Justin Peters. Just missed. Tarasenko has points in seven straight. Nine goals in his last nine games. Now Steen late on the power play. He gets in there for Laterra. And then for Steen. Here's Schwartz and a little backhander. And where is it? Peters has it on the right side of his body. And we get a whistle. Yeah, the power play's been red hot the last six for Ken Hitchcock and Kirk Muller in the St. Louis Blues. 40% on only 28 shots going eight for 20. And here's Schwartz taking it on the backhand there and trying to just slide this and maybe surprise the goalie, Justin Peters. But Peters got the left elbow tight to the body, so there's no room there. And the Capitals win a face-off, and that's wired down the ice by Alster. The Blues with two shots in the power play, and now Kuznetsov is back. And Petrangelo onto center ice. 
That goes around the dasher. Lateran well, Schwartz after it. Puck up the boards. And kept in by Bomeister. Puck in front. Laterra had it on his stick for a moment. Now it's grabbed by Ovechkin. And across to Tom Wilson. Pass up the middle. Picked off by Schwartz. He'll pump it right back in the zone. Now Peters out of the goal. And the Capitals up the middle for Backstrom. And then Wilson on the boards. A shot off the shoulder of Elliott. And then out of play. That surprised Elliott a little bit. That little wrist shot by Wilson down the right side. Well, two teammates at the World Juniors in Buffalo, New York, representing Russia. And what a story it was as well. As you see, Kuznetsov, who was red hot in that series, is a, a game in which against Canada, Canada led 3-0 after two. Russia scored five straight goals. And Kuznetsov had three helpers. Tarasenko had a couple of goals. Boom. Jake Allen doesn't like when we bring that up. He was the goaltender for Team Canada. <laughs> He was absolutely brilliant for 40 minutes, but all of Team Canada fell back on their heels, and Russia just absolutely took it to them. There, we were watching that game at a uh, sports bar in Toronto about an hour and a half in Buffalo, and uh, you can be sure that the Canadians were... They were joyful for the first two periods. <laughs> that bar was really quiet in the third period. But what a performance by the Russians in the back. Oh, big hit there by Wilson. He's a guy that finishes a check. You got to keep your eye open. As soon as Bergman moved that puck, Wilson went right through him. Shot for 10-3 for the Blues. And they lead on a goal by Laterra. Yes! Now Petrangelo. And he takes the hit from Ovechkin. The puck to the corner. Now Carlson ahead. Oh, good read by Petrangelo there. But it does come to center ice. And now Wilson oh, sails one into the... Blue zone. You know, so far that five-on-five -five matchup there, the Bacchus line going up against the Ovechkin line, it has clearly been an advantage to the Bacchus line. There's been nothing really going so far for the Ovechkin line. Now Peters winds it around. Burakovsky into the zone, drop pass for Green, and a shot from the wing, on goal, save Elliott. That hit a body and came right back into the gold crease area. I believe off of number 20, Troy Brower. Still one nothing Blues. Well, Gordy Howe hat tricks coming from guys that you may not expect it. Tarasenko is the latest in a line of long St. Louis Blues players. So he had the helper, he had the scrap against Ryan Ellis, and he capped it off with a nifty little wrist shot that just glanced off the glove of goaltender Pekka Rene here, through the defenseman's legs, beyond the reach, and in the net on Thursday night against the Nashville Predators in the 4-3 victory. The player before him to have a Gordie Howe hat trick, that'd be Jaden Schwartz. And before that, the guy to my left doing the radio there, John Kelly. Kelly Chase. Yeah, I don't know what's more unlikely. Chase's Hal hat trick or Tarasenko's. <laughs> As the Caps come in, Nate Schmidt a shot. And that's tip wide. Then picked up by Kevin Shattenkirk. Now to Steen at center, broken up. Schmidt wires it back in. Here's Gunnarsson around to Shattenkirk. And now Lindstrom off the board. Good play. And then Gunnarsson, who said this morning he had no idea his shot was in the net the other night, just like the rest of the folks in the building. Yeah, Gunnarsson won't be happy with a couple of little passes. They're just fanning. He's just fanning on them a little bit there, so he's not keeping his eye on that puck long enough, but he went to the bench a little frustrated. Now it goes back to the goal again, and the New York Gator checking Kirk to center ice. And here's Reese following up for Lapierre. And he waits now a shot. Sticked away by Peters. Ott and Reeves try to pry it free. And the Capitals send it back of the goal now for the 27-year-old Matt Niskanen. He signed that seven-year, $40 million deal as a UFA. Caps come in again. Michael Latta. Gatman goes down. Now it goes back of the goal. Grabbed by Lapierre. Spins away for the Latta check. And then taken by Jackman and out of the zone. With 3.40 left in the opening period. Shots 11-4 for the Blues. And the only goal by Laterra. Well, Elliott sets it up for Petrangelo. Rick wide for Schwartz. And then on to the Finn Laterra. His pass across. Good! Smacked in by Petrangelo. 
And then Peters out of the goal. In last night's game in Washington, Braden Holt in the starter was caught out of the goal. Well, the only goal scored by Camilleri in the third period. Well, he played it to Camilleri. <laughs> he didn't see him there. Camilleri had an empty netter in a 0-0 game. Yeah. Otherwise, he made 27 saves in that game. Now it's Joel Ward. And he's chased back by Schwartz. Tarasenko on the fourth check. And it comes across to Orpik, who leads the Caps and hits and blocks shots. It's going to be icing. It is an icing call against the visitors. Surprising icing call there, too, because both players are right there. An intended pass by Orpik, who's trying to jam it there to a guy that's well covered as we take a look at our plaza tire service shot comparison for tonight's game so nothing so far for the grade eight and uh vladi tarasenko three total attempts so far Ovechkin leads the league with 75 shots tarasenko is fourth with 63. and Ovechkin leads in, in total attempts as well 152 attempts at the death that's a bundle a four-time winner of the Rocket Richard Trophy for most goals in a year. Here's a shot by Shattenkirk, and that was tipped just wide. And now Bacchus rolls it back on the goal, too far for Oshie. Chopped that by Ward, and now poked away by Eric Fair. Gunnarsson trying to get it by Shamira. Here he is, back to the line, a drive by Niskin, and that missed the goal. And now Oshie around for Bacchus. And now controlled by Nicholas Backstrom. Superb playmaker. Held with Wilson and Ovechkin. Here's Backstrom skating away from Steen. And the Swedish shot and a glove saved by Elliott and no further play. FoxSportsMidwest.com is your home for Blues news all season. Log on for features, columns, game previews, recaps, and the latest updates. It's all on FoxSportsMidwest.com. Two oh nine to go here in the opening period. Now Backstrom on the faceoff against Stasny. Capitals have a lot of set plays off face-offs, especially when Ovechkin's on the ice, which he was there. Yeah, Barry Trotz, the master of that while a coach of the Nashville Predators. Loads of variables in the offensive zone and obviously in the neutral zone, they generate a lot of scoring chances. Now Ovechkin drops it back for Green. Offensive-minded defenseman. It spins around for Petrangelo. And he gets it ahead now for Ott. And in traffic, can't clear it. Here's Ovechkin with it, a shot! And that hits the shoulder of Elliott and goes out of play. Back is not on the ice for the last part of that shift there with Alex Ovechkin. That's a very sharp angle, and the only thing that makes it tricky is the curve on his stick. As a right-hand shot, he's got a wicked curve there. And normally you take that as a shot that you wouldn't even call quality, except when it's from a shooter like Ovechkin. He can bring that from his toes. You can see the curve of his stick right there. You can handle that puck from the toe to the middle of your blade and really change the angle of your shot in a hurry. And off the draw, Jackman. Little short pass for Schwartz and diving, and that goes out of play. Darren, speaking of Fox Sports, a little shout out here to the daughter of a sales executive, Bob Kiowski, Caroline Kiowski, that surgery a week or so ago and uh, is doing well. We want to say hi to Caroline and uh, wish her a speedy recovery. Bob does a fantastic job and is a great person. Got a girl, Caroline. Thinking about you. Get better soon. A minute and a half left here in the opening period. Capitals win the faceoff. Alster fires it in. Now Jackman in the corner. Puck works back with the goal and Ian Cole. And he is spun around. Here comes Tarasenko ahead to Schwartz. Drop past Tarasenko with a shot and what a save there by Peters. How did he get that away in traffic? And that was a good pass save. Final minute now in the first period. Tarasenko has two caps around him. Gets it free for Schwartz. And then Laterra. Then Schwartz. And then back for Cole. And his drive, and a blocker saved by Peters. 
And then Jackman in for the left point. Again, again, you see where Laterra is so smart in that play. Schwartz has very little room on the half boards over there. And, and Laterra is about eight feet away from him for a quick little give and go. Now a long stretch pass by Niskanen. Dealt in by Chimera. And look how Jackman is punished into the inboard by Fair. Under 20 to go here in the opening frame. And back is trying to work it ahead to Berglund. Off the boards and now walked along by Oshie. As time ticks down here in the period. And then Berglund is shouldered at the line. Back for Shattenkirk. And time will run down in the first. The only goal by Laterra. But a very sharp first period for the Blues as they outshoot the Capitals 13-7. Let's go to Joel and Bernie. Shots on goal. JK, thank you very much. And so a nice period, Bernie, by the Blues. Thoughts on kind of a slower period there. Well, what we saw on Thursday against the Nashville Predators was a lot quicker, obviously. But the Washington Capitals did play last night, flew in late here, so they were quite of a tired team. So I thought the Blues took good advantage of it. The Blues, 13 shots on goal. So, again, the machine is starting to go better and better. The Capitals on their heels. So still plenty more work to do, but I like what I saw in the first period. The Hall of Famer Bernie Federico will break it down when we come back as Yori Laterra with his seventh goal of the season. Analysis coming up next on the St. Paul GM Country Intermission Report. Stay with us. Yari Laterra has the only goal of the Blues with a 1-0 lead after 20 minutes of play. Blues out shooting the Capitals 13-7. And there, what you see from ice level in that first period? Well, I, I think, number one, it was slowed down early because of Washington's, you know, I think... Slowing it down, a lot of fa lot of face-offs, a lot of icing situations. But I think at five on five, I thought that Bacchus line going up against Ovechkin that's right in front of me now was, was awfully good. Uh, the only shot Ovechkin had was from a very, very severe angle. And in fact, Bacchus wasn't even on the ice for that chance again. So all in all, I thought it was a very well-played five-man unit period uh, for the Blues to begin this game. Set for the second period. Blues hockey is sponsored by... Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Teams are at full strength to begin this second period. And in fact, it's Bergwin and Oshie for the Blues against that Ovechkin unit with Backstrom and Wilson, but now they come in offside. Yeah, the one thing that, you know, Barry Trotz and the coaching staff and talking to Alex Ovechkin and, and really one thing that he that he always has he has a habit of keeping that stick blade way away from the ice on huh, John it's always kind of cocked and ready and up around his waist and I think they're just trying to remind him get that closer to the ice and it takes less time to handle the puck and make a play especially with a tricky playmaker they're like like uh, Nick Backstrom at center ice Aaron he was held to two shots last night by the Devils he had eight oh. shots blocked look at Petrangelo hit by Ovechkin and now here comes the great eight his shot hit the back of the goal and that comes around Petrangelo gets by Wilson and now tic-tac-toe to Oshie and the Blues exit the zone here's Oshie now in for Bacchus oh and Berglund was just in offside well, this is the one element of, uh, of Ovechkin's game uh, as a power forward. N not afraid to get a little licking right there. And the players' bench of the Blues uh, yelling at Petrangelo, keep your head up right there as, as Ovechkin tries to drive into it. But a little spinorama move by Petrangelo avoids most of that contact. And now Terra's on with Schwartz and Tarasenko. Terra. With the goal now seven on the year. And this is Barry Trotz's top defensive line. They're led by Chimera. And he's trying as much as possible to get them up against the Tarasenko line. Oh, Elliott almost got caught back of the goal. Here's a drive from the point by Niskin, and That's off the shoulder of Elliott. Then it goes out of play. Yeah, a lot of communication from the Blues bench there with Elliott having that puck behind the net. But it's a long way from the bench to behind the net to let him know. But obviously Elliott doesn't see Chimera coming in from his left. And he's just trying to push that puck over towards Shattenkirk. And uh, therein lies a, a, a difference between the two goaltenders that the Blues have. Uh, Jake Allen's a, a, a guy that loves to play the puck, can handle the puck extremely well. And, and I think... Brian's a little more simple in that, just trying to leave it to his defenseman. 
And that shot by Niskanen up high. That's blocked, and now it's Lindstrom. That's the line, slowed up a bit, now in for Stasny, who had the game winner the other night. And that pass blocked, and the Capitals tip it out. Stasny again funnels it back in. Peters around the dasher for Shamara. And then Farah feet ahead. That's too far. Jackman for Cole. Center ice to Steen. Now to Jackman. On his horse into the capital zone for Lindstrom. And that is blocked by Ward. And the puck to the corner. And there's Jackman in on the four check. Falls there with it. Can't clear it. Steen. Now to Jackman. And the wrist are tipped on goal. Stasny. And then Steen a shot. And he was hooked as he shot and went wide. And the Capitals may have gotten away with one there. No doubt. Here's Burakovsky. And that comes all the way around. And taken by Steen, who floats one in on goal. And because, because of that little tug there, it rolled off right off the blade of, of Steen. Otherwise, it's a neat little give and go there. Yeah, Darren, from my angle, he was definitely hooked. Now the puck ahead off the stick of Johansson. Ends up back of the goal, Elliott. And around now for Bomeister. And a high hoister to center ice. Here's Green off the boards. That's tipped by Petrangelo. Who tracks it down now to his partner. Bomeister for Schwartz. And then Petrangelo spins on to center ice for Tarasenko. That pass blocked by Schmidt. And again the Blues set up at their own line. I think Tarasenko was anticipating that Nate Schmidt was going to come in here and really close the line right there and drill him. And he, he had a little bit more time because Schmidt actually backed off. And now the Blues up the boards for Petrangelo. Schwartz for Laterra. Well, as crisp as that first period was, this one's a neutral zone. Bit of a sloppy mess here. Look out, long change right here. And a pass into the wing on Latta. Latta trying to get in. Reed nudges him off the puck. Now back to Carlson. To a wide open Orpik, a drive, and that's oh. caught by Brian Elliott. How did he see that one? I'm not sure. Everybody went down, so you're... By that point, you're anticipating that puck's coming up high, so you try to stay up as high as you can, even though he's on his knees. Orpik's got his head up the entire way, knowing the first layer there, Lapierre, stays on his feet. Reeves is in front of the net, and Reeves, 75, ends up going down because he gets cross-checked from behind by Latta. And a good hands, good glove there by Elliott. We talked about Barry Trotz's experience. Darren, he's the first capital coach hired with any NHL experience. The last five Oates, Dale Hunter, Glenn Hanlon, Bruce Boudreau, Bruce Cassidy, all hired by the Capitals with zero NHL head coaching experience. Yeah, you look around and you talk to the players and they certainly there's a there's just a level of structure and preparation all the way around that, that comes as you would expect from a veteran coach. I mean, Bruce Boudreau had some remarkable years there as a head coach in Washington. Now Latta pass in the corner, now center, cleaned up by Lapierre. But Barry Trot submitted to us this afternoon. It's a process, and we're still finding out who we are. Now Gunnarsson, all the way around the inboards, too far for Reeves, and tipped away by Beagle. And now Gunnarsson on the wing for Ott. Here's Reeves, and he is jolted at center ice by Carlson. Picked up by Kuznetsov. And the young Russian fires it high off the glass. Aaron, you expect the Capitals to pick it up here in the second period after getting out played in the first. Yeah, no question. I think if you're Washington, you played last night, you know when you're coming into a hot competition here. And to, 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 to leave the first period only down by one, I, I think probably gave them a little light, a little spark in, in, their, in their locker room. And, and they're a dangerous second period team as well. Uh, they'll stretch you out. They'll... They'll make sure, especially with Ovechkin on the ice, that as soon as the D have possession of the puck in that second period, they are going. So it's an area they probably feel pretty comfortable. There are plus five goals for and goals against in that second period. But you look at the series history, John Kelly, and look at that uh, last five. The Caps have that advantage. 16 goals for against seven. Oh, power play. Four of 12. Ooh, the Blues, 1 of 20 on the power play. That would be the difference in that series. A year ago, Ovechkin in two games had three goals and five points. His centerman Baxter had two goals and three assists. Now Brower, the former Blackhawk. 
He'll drop it off to Carlson. Now Johansson. Down the wing for Orpik. And a shot. Oh, weird hop off Elliott. What did that hit? Maybe a stick? Looked like it hit his blade, came up, and maybe hit him in the elbow, and then came out. It's like he didn't read that shot. And now the Blues tip it, and here comes David Backus with some room up the middle. Backus for Berglund. In front to Oshie. And then Oshie is shot. That's blocked by the blocker, Peters. Now back to the line, Jackman. And that shot nowhere near the goal. Comes around. And then Berglund for Oshie. Looking for the give and go. Carlson knocks it away. Kept it by Cole. Oshie now for Berglund. He'll steer it back to Jackman. A shot. And that hit a body in front just wide. Now Oshie again. In front, Stasny to Berglund. Didn't get there. Here's Ian Cole. Jackman's wide open. In the slot. Backhander by Berglund. On goal. And a save by Peters. With Stasny right in his kitchen. Good offensive zone change by David Backus. He was out of gas. He changes. On comes Paul Stasny, and they're able to continue that flow in the offensive zone. A real good shift there by Berglund. But Barrett Jackman makes a number of real strong passes. And it started in his own zone with a really good outlet pass through the neutral zone by the veteran Jackman, who was real strong in the last game against Nashville as well. And here's the play before that. Brooks Orpik with the shot, glances off the blade, off the blocker, off the elbow, and then out the other way. Brian Elliott didn't know where that puck was. Tarasenko right off the face off a shot and a save there by Peters. As the Blues won a clean draw, and Tarasenko nearly made it 2-0. Well, face-offs, big part of puck possession, and obviously Latera started his NHL season on fire. He's right around 56% now, but one quick face-off win. You've got your Bo Meester punching it, Tarasenko with a quick wrister. The third star of the week last week in the NHL. Now Latera. And this is called back as somebody jumped into the circle early. Maybe Schwartz. Then we'll drop it again. So Schwartz will step in and take the draw. Against Fair. Tarasenko at the top of the circle. But Fair wins the faceoff. Now lobbed ahead. Here's Shamara. And he's offside. Did not have control of the puck as he went across the line. 13.55 left in the second period. Well, with Latera booted out of that faceoff, it was Schwartz that went down there and took it. Still 1-0 Blues. We'll be back right after this. And tonight's service member of the game is Keith Springer. And we salute Keith, as do 19,000 Blues fans here tonight. And why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't we? Both benches, same thing. And here's that face-off again after that icing call and the commercial timeout there. Latera goes back at it. And this time the face-off control by Fair. And now picked up by Nate Schmidt. And the puck to center ice. Fair with some good speed. In against Bomeister. All he can do is roll one to the corner. Now Joel Ward, he is chopped down by Tarasenko. Ooh, Tarasenko looked for the referee, thought he might have got a call. You know what, he used his stick, he got a jammed Ward against the boards there, knocking Ward down. Now Tarasenko for Schwartz, a drive, and that was blocked in front. Good setup there by Tarasenko. Here are the Capitals on the counter with Ward. Rich shot, and he scores! Elliott missed it, right off his glove. Got himself a little deep in that net, so there's very little margin for error in a shot like that. If you're out just even a, a foot or a couple of feet further than that, then at least, at least it ricochets off your blocker or the side of the body. And instead of trickling over the goal line, you'd still have another, another foot or two feet to, to try to knock it before heading in there. But see the breakout there by Ward gets it on the far side. And, and, and this wrister here, I don't have to tell you that Brian Elliott knows that he's got to have that one there. Handcuffs him, and then has enough just to roll in. And uh, much like that one that went off his stick and his blocker and rolled up the other way, Johnny had a hard time tracking it or picking up where it was. Yeah, he's had a couple of shots in this period, Darren, that he has not handled cleanly. And that one ended up in the goal. Ward's eight. 
for sure Ward used to play for Barry Trotz in Nashville. So it's 1-1, the goal at 6-38. Now Wilson comes in. Spins back of the goal against Gunnarsson. Now Wilson looks for Ovechkin. And then back for Wilson. And then gloved down by Gunnarsson. And the pass off the glass to center. Now Steen for Shackenkirk. And then Lindstrom deals one off the board. And in deep. Ward gets the goal from Mike Green at 6.38. And we have got a brand new game. Now Wilson, who missed all of camp after suffering an ankle injury in the summer. Here are the Blues into the zone. Packard Kirkland rolls one back of the goal. Orpik leaves it for Carlson. Now Bergman gets it again. Wrapped up on the boards, but it pops free to Bacchus. And he's pinned by Orpik. Bergman now for Oshie, off his stick, and walked along by Brower. And that's dumped in wide of the Blues goal. Now centered, and a good back check there by Bergman, and here come the Blues quickly back to center ice. And then Bacchus off the boards and in. To this side to Oshie, back in front, right to the goal crease. Now Jay Bowmeister on for Jack, but a pass. Oshie off the skate, hooks one to Bergman. He's turned the wrong way. Now he gets away from Warpick. And then Bergman chased back on the goal and is run down. Two capitals on him. And where's the puck? It's finally grabbed by the Caps and flown high to center by Burakovsky. Now Bowmeister ahead. Carlson fires it right back in there. And that's an offside. And Steve Ott just skates by Brooks Orpik and gives him a little shot as they're going for a little change. Here's the shot and the, and the goal here. Now, from this point here, you can't see where that puck is. We're trying to focus on the, the dark pants, but the puck is there. It's along the pants. Now it's fluttering. Now it goes right off the heel of the skate and just has enough to trickle in there. It's a lot of paraphernalia that the goalies have right now. I can honestly say in our day, we didn't have as as much padding, so often you could feel the puck a little bit where it was at the side of your body, but clearly from that replay, Elliot thinks he does have that. And now Elliot has this one, so Ward gets the goal at 6.38. You know, after that goal against, though, it, it's, uh, it's a situation that the Blues bench, the players, really picked up their intensity and their alertness. I mean, they know that they didn't start the second period John very sharp uh, and and then then a goal like that goes in they care for Elliot they you know they you know Elliot would be the first to say that's my fault the players would be the first to say we got to get our game going and there's a distinct difference in the play of the Blues following that goal again it's been sharper Ward had a career high 24 goals last year now Gunnarsson to Shattenkirk intended for Ott off the boards in front and the goaltender is bumped by Reeves and that Creates quite the skirmish in front of the Washington net. Yeah, Reeves making his presence felt there in front of the net. The net front presence right there because he's looking at that puck coming off the boards, off the side of the net, and seeing if it doesn't hang loose. And that's Nate Schmidt, number 88 there, that Reeves actually jammed him into the goaltender, Justin Peters. An unrestricted free agent, July 1, signed by the Washington Capitals from Carolina. Here's the shift by Ryan Reeves using that big body. For the first four minutes of the game against Nashville, he was a force, especially in the offensive zone, getting in on the Nashville defenseman, and there he is with that little, that little shove right there, and he shoves him right into the goaltender. Nate, Nate Schmidt thought he could lean on Reeves and push him away, and Reeves was already prepared for that and balanced to push Schmidt. And one guy appeared a little stronger than the other. Blues win a face off with Tara for Tarasenko. Back for Cole, now in for Jackman. Jackman walks in a shot, and that was caught by the goaltender Peters and a whistle. Yeah, a little one and done from that severe of an angle. Uh, but a good passing play certainly by Cole trying to find Barrett Jackman, who as I mentioned, he's really, he's really uh, had authority. And you can see from the middle of the ice, the all the white sweaters are there in kind of a triple-I formation, so there was no shot for Cole, otherwise he was gonna get blocked. So his option was Jackman. By the time Jackman got it, though, he was down at below the face-off circle. 
Now Laterra wins the faceoff. Tarasenko, Laterra, and then back for Tarasenko. He's slowed up a bit by Niskanen. And now it's lobbed out of there by Matt Niskanen. Jackman, long pass. Tarasenko, oh, he's hit into the boards there by Alder. Right in front of Darren Pang, and now the Blues have it. Schwartz for Cole. And he gets the puck in deep. The goaltender, Peter, slows it down. Now Schwartz curls in, in front, intended for Tarasenko. Back to Cole. Schwartz off the wing. Off the boards now for Laterra. And then Alster steers it around. There's Ward. Two Blues around him. And a little short pass to Niskanen. And the Caps out of the zone with Shimera. And that goes wide. Both teams making changes. Cole long stretch pass to Lindstrom. He cuts in on Carlson. And Joachim Lindstrom back of the goal now for Stasny. And his pass. Tip. Bollmeister with it. A shot. Way high. Comes down to Steen. Steen for Lindstrom. And then Bollmeister again. Off the board. Stasny a shot. And that was blocked at defense by Carlson. Stasny back of the goal now for Steen. Petrangelo with it. Big shot now for Bollmeister. Slap pass off the skate of Steen. Steen gets it back. Now Lindstrom with it for Bollmeister. The drive on goal is saved by Peters. Good shift here by the Stasny trio. Now Carlson for Ovechkin. And off the boards and back to center ice. Yeah, good play though by Petrangelo. Get right up there in front of Ovechkin immediately. Now Steen right back in. And then Oshie, and it was just off his stick after a great pass by Jay Bollmeister. 8.35 to go in the second. Blues and Capitals tied at one. Nicholas, Nicholas Backstrom for the Caps. That's around the board. Dropped that by Petrangelo. Now moved ahead oh. by Bollmeister. Overskates it, though. Yeah, three guys overskated that puck thinking the other guy was going to take it. And then Burakovsky wheels it around. Petrangelo, nice pass ahead for Oshi, and then to the captain Bacchus. Four caps around him. To Bergwin a shot, and it rolled off his stick. And then Bergwin trying to get away from his check. Bacchus back for Shattenkirk, and too hot to handle. And Elliott goes for a skate here, and feeds it to Gunnarsson. Good short pass to Oshi. now on for Shattenkirk with some speed. Try to cut to the middle, and Oshie was in offside on left wing. Midway through the second, losing Capitals tied at one. Hitch, it seems like uh, your players are a little more attentive following that goal against Brian Elliott. Would you agree with that? I don't know. I thought we played really well so far. We just we didn't get a bigger lead in the first when we really had quality scoring chances. They, they got their sea legs now, and they're skating, but we're still playing awful well. We just... We got to make them defend a little bit more by putting more pucks on the net. Thanks, Hitch. Okay. And Darren, the shots are 20 11 in favor of the Blues, but it's 1 1. Face off controlled by St. Louis. Good, thank you. Ripped around by Jackman. And I think following that goal against to make it 1 1 scored by Ward, the, the, the backest line came out and had complete control in the offensive zone. And, and I think, you know. For me, from my vantage point, anyway, there's no question that the Blues have played a real strong game, and they put a lot of pucks on the net, especially in the first period uh, against the Capitals. Uh, Shattenkirk had a ton. Uh, the right defenseman, Alex Petrangelo, had shots. The majority of the offense came from the point, though, and I thought the Blues did a good job of battling down low, keeping the play alive, and having a little bit of sustained pressure. But I really like the last three or four shifts. Now Laterra wins the faceoff. Shattenkirk, a shot. Oh, rebound, they score! Schwartz! 2-1, good guys! A little faceoff in the offensive zone, and as we just talked about, John, the point position generated a lot of the offense 
And this one ends up going to the left side of your screen, which is Shattenkirk. Face-off win, Gunnarsson to Shattenkirk. A quick shot, rebound, and there is Jane Schwartz. The puck is going to go off the goaltender's body. Schwartz is there. He sees it. He's battling a bigger Carl Alsner, but he gets himself in a, a good scoring position and avoids that contact and knocks it into the empty net on the backhander. It all off a of face-off win by Laterra, who has won 58% of the draws tonight. And the Blues go back on top. And it's covered by Elliott. The goal at 12-36. The seventh of the year for Jaden Schwartz. Schwartz gets a pat on the back right there. And the spirit on the Blues bench has really picked up as well. And there's Gunnarsson just making that pass just before Ward can get to him. So the, the right winger can't get there in time. Gunnarsson knows he's running out of time. He puts it right on the tape. And that's what we're talking about with the chemistry and the cohesion there between Gunnarsson and Shattenkirk getting better and better with every game. Shattenkirk and Gunnarsson get the assists. And for Shattenkirk, another two-assist game. He came into the game with 13 assists, six best in the entire league. Remember early in the game, Gunnarsson was a little frustrated with a couple of the missed passes that he had. But that was right on the tape. Good score check here by Patrick Berglund. But now it is Ovechkin for Wilson. That center gets it by Petrangelo. Here he comes, Wilson in on goal. In front, oh, Ovechkin was right there. And it went right by his blade. Now Backstrom drops it off. Orpik in for Green. And a shot. And a save by Elliott with his blocker. And again, a sort of a funny rebound off Brian Elliott. On the wall, on the wall. Now Bollmeister for Bacchus. Off the glass, that goes deep. And the Blues make a change on the go. With six minutes left here in the second period. Now Green to center ice. Nice balance there off the yeah. skate to that, dump it in. It, wasn't a, it was not a very good pass by Johansson, but yeah, you're right, Green did an excellent job with his skate plates. And a pass across for Matera. That's off the mark. Capitals come back in, Johansson, and a drive by Brower up high. And now it's Tarasenko. He gets to center ice. Tarasenko for Matera, back to Tarasenko. Just by his stick, and then Shattenkirk controls it. His pass, a little bit too soft into the middle, picked off. Good read by Schmidt. Now Brower in, that's offside. As number 88, Nate Schmidt, was in ahead of the puck. Blues go back on top on Schwartz's seventh. Well, just leaning over to the player's bench here, John, and asked uh, Alex Petrangelo and Shattenkirk, what did that original shot hit? And as we take a look at our Mazda drive to the net, off the faceoff, 17 blue. This shot actually hit Schwartz right in the midsection. Hit him right in the blue note. And then popped right back, as you can see on the left side of your screen. And now he's got full vision. He knows exactly where it is. He beats Alsner to the inside track. So it's just Schwartz and the goaltender and no layer defended between. There in the STL line on fire. They have not been held goalless in nine games Holy since Jordan. Anaheim when the Blues won 2-0 and those guys didn't get a goal in that 2-0 win. That's quite a run. Keep your eye on the far side. Dean and Latta. Yeah, Latta gave him a little cross check right in the forearms and and the face off won by the Caps dumped in. Jackman now for Cole and if you weren't with us earlier we reported that Jordan Leopold was traded to Columbus earlier in the day for a draft choice in a couple of years, a fifth rounder. And uh, Jordan's a great guy. We wish him the very best with the Blue Jackets. Now back on the line, it's Jackman for Lindstrom. And a rush shot. That hit a leg and goes just wide with a stasty screen. And Carlson chops it high into Blue's territory. Shots in the game, 22-12 for the Blues, who lead 2-1. Here's Cole, he gets it free now for Lindstrom. Deals one on to Stasny, who of course played with Chris Butler at Chaminade, and Butler will join the Blues in time for Monday's practice. Now the cap to center ice. Because that's off, in on goal, and that is covered by Elliott. Well, Kevin Shattenkirk's got a couple of assists in this game. He's got 15 assists on the year. It's been a great ride here to begin the season with Kevin Shattenkirk. And 
Yesterday, Kevin Shattenkirk took pl took uh, took part in a little ping pong championship with the Cards' Trevor Rosenthal, and uh, the Blues are avid ping pong players. Berglund and Shattenkirk are leaders in the clubhouse right now. And uh, I did ask Shaddy who got the best of that one, and he said he just edged him out, but it was a good match. I think our good friend Jimmy the Cat Hayes orchestrated that match. Or was the referee? Way to go, Cat. Now Bowley's here for Berglund. And now to center ice for Petrangelo. It's been a pretty good battle going on here, John, at ice level. Uh, Ovechkin, real physical, and most times because he's on the left side, he's matched up against Petrangelo. And he's been really finishing in his checks on Alex Petrangelo here. Now it is Bacchus. He's rubbed out by Backstrom. Backstrom around the goal. Back on the line, Carlson and drive. Kicked away by Elliott. That might have been his toughest save of the period. And now Steve Ott. And off a stick to center ice. And we get a whistle. And the referee, Tim Peel, makes a call from the capital zone. That's a retaliatory slash Flossing there. Two minutes flossing. By back. <laughs> the lines were just wiped out right in front of me. Sorry about that. But here's back as finishes his check right here. His backstrom's rarely in a vulnerable position. And then you can see right there a good solid two-hander right on the left elbow forearm of David Backus. You remember in the gold medal game in Sochi. Backstrom, John, didn't get to play the game. Deemed ineligible. At the last minute. Yeah. Blues 0 for 1 with two shots. Tarasenko off the wall. That shot hits some sticks of the way through. And shot down the ice by the Caps. Again, the Blues power play. Red hot. 8 for the last 20. Second best at 27.1%. Here's Shattenkirk. Now Schwartz, he defers to Tarasenko. Into the zone to Shattenkirk. Back door to Laterra, shot, and he missed on the short side. That's great passing there. Now the Blues down low. Pass in front. And then Laterra on his knees, can't get it back on goal. And the puck up the wing, and then slammed down by Brower. That's a tremendous entry into the zone, John. From ice level, this is a well-orchestrated uh, entry with uh, four players touching the puck. Yeah, you do not get scoring chances too often off the rush in a power play, but they did there. Now it's Schwartz again. Little head fake move. Lost the puck and then ripped out of there by Niskanen. Too high and the faceoff will come back in the Capitals' end. Well, let's focus on the left side of your screen on that last breakout there. And that's Shattenkirk there. Now keep her rolling here because it, it happens quickly. It looks like Shattenkirk's going to get the line. No, he's going to play it back there to Schwartz. Schwartz is going to cut across and drop drop it back to Tarasenko, who then plays it to the guy that originally started the breakout, and that's Shattenkirk, right at the blue line on the right side. 57 left in the power play. Now Stasny, who won a key draw the other night, that led to his game winner. His first game winner as a blue. Now Petrangelo. And then Stasny for Lindstrom. That's knocked away by Niskanen. And Ward hops on the puck and throws one into the blue zone. Here's Joel Ward. He has scored the Capitals' goal. A Terran Schwartz have replied for the Blues. With two minutes left here in the second period. Well, you really want to make the Caps pay for that slash, that retaliatory slash right there, but they haven't been able to get anything going in the offensive zone here. Stasny for Lindstrom off his skate. And then sailed high and down the ice by Latta. The Blues have yet to take a penalty in this game. And like St. Louis, the Caps have a very good power play. Oshie into the zone to Bacchus. Hit by Carlson. And now Ryan Reese follows up. Here's Bacchus. Leaves it back to the goal. The Blues, no shot on the power play. Now 0 for 2. Now Petrangelo. Trying to step by Beagle. For Reeves. Gunnarsson's wide open. And around the outside, then a shot from the wing by Petrangelo. Now he goes after the puck in the corner. Backstrom there for the Capitals. Work free. In front, Carlson there. And he sails it down the ice. Final minute now in the period. Backstrom in after it. Against Ott. Here's Alter a shot. That 
Hit a body in front, and it carries right to Reeves. And the puck to center ice. Now play back in Petrangelo to his partner. Gunnarsson up the wing for Ock. Slowed up near the capital line. And Ovechkin gets free. Well, Latta ended up finishing his check a couple of times right there on Petrangelo on the side. And it was, first of all, it was a little bit of a late hit. And too many men on the ice for a split second there. Now Reeves and Wilson on the far side. And then Ott was drilled, and he's upset. Reeves in a little dance activity. Now they throw the miss down. Reeves and Tom Wilson. Reeves a couple of overhand rights. Wilson the big boy. Reeves landed right that one in the back of his head, and down goes Wilson. Little electricity in the crowd here after that scrap there. And Latta goes in late there on Petrangelo. They finish their check every single time on Petrangelo. And Latta doesn't let go on that one side before the linesman gets there. Backstrom from behind on Ott right here. Ott's facing the boards right there. And then we see that Reeves went in there as well. And Wilson and Reeves, and Reeves is just going to kind of push him away and then knowing that they're going to go at that particular point. The first couple were haymakers on the right. Looked like it might have caught the helmet there of Wilson. Well, Barry Trotz likes to say that Wilson's a big boy, plays with Ovechkin and Backstrom, and one reason he says he can keep the flies off Alex and Nick. But I don't know if... He can keep big flies off Alex and Nick like Ryan Reeves. Well, 6'4", 215 pounds. So they get fighting majors. So the one area, the one call that wasn't called was the Backstrom hit from behind on on. Yeah, that was pretty evident at center ice. Now the capital ducking down. Here comes Brower. Down is off, wing a shot, that's wide. And then to the corner. And the horn sounds to end the second period. So the Capitals get a funny goal from Ward, but the Blues respond about six minutes later on Schwartz's seventh. And the Blues enjoy a 2-1 lead after 40 minutes. And the Plaza Tires service shot comparison. Tarasenko with a couple, he's missed one. Had three blocked. And so far, it's a draw on the scoreboard. Although the Blues lead by one. Let's go to Joel and Bernie. Thank you, J.K. And so we've got, once again, still a one-goal game. A goal from each side. Bernie, what was different in the second period? Well, the Capitals, I think Darren said before the start of the second period that they would be a little bit better. I thought the Capitals did have a little more offensive power. I mean, they're one of those teams that is very, very patient, but, you know, they got a lucky goal. It somehow found its way between the pads of Elliott, but I thought the Blues, again, the big line for the Blues responds once again. Unfortunately, the Blues had a couple of power play chances, haven't been able to score, but you know what? We're used to having these tight games. Hopefully, the Blues can hang on to another one. More analysis coming up from the Hall of Famer, Bernie Federko. Yes, the STL line does it. Again, stay with us. The Jack in the Box intermission report coming up next. On a snowy night in St. Louis, the Blues with a 2-1 lead over the Capitals. Goals from Laterra and Schwartz as we get set for the third period. John Kelly back upstairs. Darren Pang between the benches. And Darren Ovechkin has more hits than shots on goal tonight. Well, he's a big boy at 6'3", 230 pounds. And he and Alex Petrangelo have been going at it pretty darn well in this game. I mean, Petrangelo, the right D, Ovechkin, the left winger. The wingers of Barry Trotz coach teams, they don't just skate away from the opportunity to hit a top-end defenseman like Petrangelo. They try to go through as much as possible. And although Ovechkin has been quiet on the offensive side of it, he's been doing his job patrolling the wing. He's done a good job. And, and uh, obviously, late in that period, uh, the same thing happened with, with Latta on Alex Petrangelo. Same way the Blues you know, circle the top players on other teams and players that you want to eliminate. You want to eliminate Green. You want to eliminate Backstrom as much as possible. They do the same thing with Shattenkirk and Petrangelo. And we are underway in the third period. Teams are at full strength. The Blues win the faceoff. And they've been dominant tonight, winning 67%. Oh, a giveaway there! Empty net! Well, 
the back is lying, gets rewarded. Played by the goaltender behind the net. And clearly, when you see a little bit of pressure here, Peters fans on it, just absolutely whiffs on it. Berglund plays it back, and Vakas just fires it into the empty net. We were just talking about the goal that Braden Holtby, the other goaltender, gave up last night. Fed it right to Camilleri, and Camilleri scored into the empty net. So in back-to-back -back games, the goaltenders for the Washington Capitals have copped up situations that should not occur. Justin Peters just, quite frankly, he, he just fans on this puck right here. And, and he looks one way, stop it here if we can. Now he gets himself facing it, and he just fans on it. He's trying to play it off to this side. Berglund stays on the hunt, and Backus is the recipient. That's as easy as it gets for David Backus. So Backus gets it from Berglund at 12 seconds. And Darren, on that replay, you could see Peter's head, it was up. And he was looking left, he was looking right. Yeah. And he, he, he was concentrating more on the pass than making the pass. He made a simple blues play it. difficult. Right. Oh, what a save there by Peters on Bacchus. As he got the blocker up and robbed David Bacchus, who almost scored two in a row. So that's a big goal to give the Blues a 3-1 lead. Now Orpik, that center broken up. Schwartz back in. Schwartz, now on for Tarasenko. Get back on the goal for the Terra. And then Schwartz, deep slot. And that bounced over Tarasenko's stick. And then back to center ice. Tarasenko, two shots on goal tonight. And he has been held pointless thus far. Shattenkirk in for the right point. But Johansson away for the Capitals. Now moved along by Alsner. And it goes into the corner. Gunnarsson back for the Blues. Get some help there from the Terra. Up the boards, Niskin in, bouncing puck, a shot, tipped on goal, and a save by Elliott. That was yeah. perhaps redirected by Fair in the slot. It, it definitely was. It went right off the high shaft of the stick there. Good hard shot by Niskin in. That puck was rolling, but he was still able to keep good control of it to keep it down to make it a tippable shot. Now Marcus Johansson, their first round pick at 09. That comes around, hit by Lindstrom now for Jackman. And then back to Lindstrom now ahead. For Stasny. Oh, 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 Steen was behind the defense, but that, that was blocked by Niskanen. And Shimera the drive. Stick save Elliott off the glass and now over the glass. Well, we mentioned Matt Niskanen, who started out as a Dallas star, went to the Pittsburgh Penguins, and then ended up as a UFA. There's the shot, and it deflects off of Fair, and Brian Elliott has to make a real good save with his left pad. And here's the nice little pass by Oshi right to Bacchus, and boy, that is labeled on the blocker side. An excellent save there by the goaltender. That goal by David Bacchus is fifth. His first even strength goal this year after scoring four power play goals. Now Steen off the boards. Intended for Ott. That goes all the way down. And I seen against the Blues. Of course, the Blues begin a road trip after tonight. Tuesday night in Boston as they begin a four-game journey. Well, it's also so important for, for the other lines to start feeling like they're contributing. I mean, everybody's watching. I mean, it, there's no secret when you see the, the schwartz Terra and Tarasenko line. They are absolutely on a roll, one of the hottest lines in the entire National Hockey League. But the other players, they want to get going and, and feel like they're contributing as well. So I thought Bacchus' line had a real good game against Nashville, and now they've had a good one here. And a good save right off the faceoff by Brian Elliott. Well, clean win there, and then you see Schmidt has a clear lane, and there's no screen whatsoever. Elliott will take that any day. And now the faceoff won by Lapierre to the corner, and then Ward battles against Cole. And it comes free for Steen. Popped on to Ott, moved along by Jackman. And he goes after it, Jackman down low. And he gets the puck wrapped up, but it's grabbed by Lapierre. For Steen, tough angle. He goes back of the goal on the scenic route. Now Steen reverses for Ott. And pushed off the puck by Schmidt. And at the line and now out. And a foot race here. Cole and... Oh, Cole! Pushed down by Shamira. In front, tipped on goal, and a save! Kuznetsov right on the doorstep, stopped by Elliott. 
Well, that's an awkward play there. Now, now Cole didn't immediately react to that play. And I, you, you know that if it's something that's, uh, you know, unsuspecting or a little or on the on the sly or dirtier side, but keep your eye on Chimera on the left side. Yeah, he and pushed he, him. They're both going for the puck back below. Chimera releases his hand on the stick and with his power uses one hand and just pushes him over there. It's like Cole wasn't quite braced for that, but you look at the size of the wingers on the Washington Capitals, they are big boys. Chimera is 6'3", 215 pounds. Now the Blues off the faceoff. Alex Petrangelo, slowed up by Niskanen. Here is Alsner, forechecked by Bacchus. And then Patrick Bergman in the corner. Against Ovechkin, Blues have held Ovechkin to one shot on goal tonight. And again, he leads the NHL in shots with 75. And they've gone back to Beagle on that right side. Yeah, he played with, there last night. With Wilson in the penalty box. Still with that fighting major with Ryan Reeves. Now Bolmeister has it in his skates. Backstrom trying to pry it free. And then it does come free to Berglund. And the Blues to center ice. Petrangelo slides it through to Bacchus. And a shot and a good save there by Peters. Bacchus could have three in this period. Now Shattenkirk fakes it. Walks around Beagle. Now to Tarasenko. Oh, and it rolled off his stick. And then Bacchus again. Slides it back to Shattenkirk. Return feed. Bacchus deals it back of the goal for Schwartz. And now picked up by Tarasenko. Across the seam to Laterra just off the bench. And that was a little too hot to handle. Now Schwartz trying to center one. He does. Shattenkirk had it roll on him. And then Laterra funnels one to the corner. Good read there by Backstrom. Gives it up to Tarasenko. In front. Schwartz gets it back again. Off the goaltender's stick. And then Tarasenko upended there by Orpik. Fans yell, but no call. And the Caps shoot it down the ice. Shattenkirk now for Carl Gunnarsson. Center ice feed for Steen. Nice pass. Stasny comes in. A drive. And that goes just wide. And a hot shot there by Stasny. Steen spins off the check of the corner. For Jackman. Now Green tips one up the near side. And Schmidt has it, not out of though. And Lindstrom for the Blues, for Steen. Into Jackman, a shot. And that may have gone off the forward, Burakovsky. Well, this is the way to protect a 3-1 lead right now. Keep the puck in the offensive zone. Good sustained pressure here by the Blues. Now that's the best defense you can have. Here's Cole. That bounced a bit on Jackman. And now it stays in there, Burakovsky with it. And worked over by Jackman. 540 gone here in the third. The Blues with a two-goal lead. And then Johansson a shot. Didn't get through. And then Stasny for Cole. And a lane up the right wing side. Here he comes. Cole pulls up. Makes the safe play around the boards. Lapierre there. Ward gets it back for Washington. He has scored their goal tonight. And now dealt in by Mike Green. Elliott now to Bullmeister. Quick pass to Lapierre. Boy, the Blues have had some real good exits out of their zone tonight. I mean, just clean exits. Miskin in long pass. Fair dumps it in. And Elliott goes for a skate. Wrist one to center. Picked up by Schwartz. Gets by one man. Now Schwartz follows up. He'll throw it low for Ott. Now Ott trying to get free. Schwartz seen double duty here. With Reeves in the box, Lapierre from behind. And is pushed by Niskin in the puck at the line. No kept in, Shattenkirk in front, Schwartz. Pat saved by Peters on a wide open Jaden Schwartz. Here are the Blues again. And that's an offside. Peters at this point keeping the Capitals in the game. Schwartz very nearly made it 4-1. to one. The Blues head to Boston on Tuesday, one in a shootout there last November 21st. Guys? You are right about that, Joel. Very good to have you with us tonight after covering the Royals all season long for Fox Sports Midwest. A phenomenal run by Joel Goldberg. One win away from a World Series. 
Off the corner boards in front. Oh. Oh. Petrangelo whipped down into the end boards. Oh. He, he went to finish his hit on Wilson and just got the worst of it. And a shot by Orpik wide. Kept oh. in. Ovechkin tips it on goal. Saved by Brian Elliott. Well, you can be sure now, down by two goals, and Alex Ovechkin will be flying the zone as much as possible. That was nice of Ovechkin. He just gave Brian Elliott a pat on the pads there as, uh, as he skated away from him. And Ovechkin takes this one right off the glove. But here's the play by the defenseman, and you can see there, off the hands, and then right down below it, it gives, gives him a little bit of a whack there because at that point it's timing. He could get it before it's covered up, but then... Uh, in a nice move, he pats him on the pads. And a shot tipped off the glass. Darren, it will be interesting to see if Barry Trotz can get Ovechkin to become a better two-way player. A year ago, he was minus 35, third worst. Yep, Rocket Richard trophy and minus 35. That's not a good combination. Now the puck at the line, kept in. Laterra, but that's grabbed now by Burakovsky. And the Austrian gets it into the blue zone. Now Laterra ahead to Tarasenko. That's tipped all the way down the ice. Tarasenko after it against Green. And Mike Green gets it back for Washington. Hard pass, too hot to handle for Johansson. And Cole, he smacked into the boards. Plays one to his partner, Jackman. And that was intended for Lindstrom off the mark. And icing called here against the Blues. Well, it's been a physical contest, and certainly we mentioned it before with the hits that Petrangelo has taken against Alex Ovechkin. That one there was Wilson again, Bo Meester and Petrangelo going up against the top line of the Washington Capitals. And we mentioned the power forward Wilson, and certainly you've got to be braced for those hits, but Petrangelo gets the worst of that one, but nothing much. He got himself up and jumped right back into the play. And on the face-off, Lutero wins it for Backstrom. That's played around by Cole. Wilson kept it in now for Niskin and long wrister. Blocker save by Elliott. And then Wilson on his knees, puck in front off the pad, and now loose to the corner. Pressure here by the Capitals in their big line. Oh, what a slash. Ovechkin just got Steen right in the back of the leg. And now Lutero. He's got some room here. Long stretch pass. Steen is loose. Chopped down by Niskanen. Fans yell, but no call. And then Steen is belted by Wilson. And that creates a crowd. Backus comes in. He goes after Wilson. Boy, Ovechkin got his money's worth on about three cross checks to the lower back of Backus. Oh, this is this is not going to end nicely. And then Petrangelo comes in. So Wilson, the 20-year-old, former first-rounder, Darren, you mentioned he's 6'4", listed at 210, but boy, he looks a lot bigger than 210. Well, there's no question about it. When you can skate like that, and you, you, you obviously can uh, can get in there and take advantage of that speed and the size, and, and here's Ovechkin right there with the slash on the left leg of Alexander Steen. Now, that's in the blue zone. Now, Steen takes the outlet pass from Cole, and keep your eye on Wilson coming in there with the hit, knocking him down. Now, Ovechkin comes in, and watch the cross-checks that Ovechkin lays on right there. One, two, three. Right on the lower back. Now, back is escorted to the box, along with Wilson. Looks like we're going to go four on four. And Steve Kozari, the referee, has gone right over there to Barry Trotz, having a conversation with him as Trotz wants an explanation. Barry Trotz used to coach in the minors in the capital system. Coach the Baltimore Skipjacks. As a matter of fact, owned a house there for a lot of years and uh, was the landlord to the play-by-play -play announcer Joe Beninati. He used to pay rent to Barry Trotz. Well, the one thing Barry Trotz has, has, has done is he's been he has the ability and, and, and the leadership and the voice to tell players like 
Backstrom or Ovechkin. No, you, you can't do it that way. And I, I think for so many years, Ovechkin had his way in so many different situations that I think coaches, quite frankly, were maybe a little intimidated to say no to him. And they were all first-year coaches, dear. But uh, Barry certainly has the experience. Wilson a slashy minor, back is a cross check, four on four, and a wrist shot taken by Burakowski, and that's off a stick and out of play. That's good stick on puck there by Carl Gunnarsson. A real good play right there. Is Burakowski's got a good move here. He's going to cut back, but watch the stick blade right there. Gunnarsson regains control, and even if it deflects and changes its angle a little bit, it would be far enough out that the goaltender Elliott would be able to react to. Midway through the third, Blues leading 3-1 as they wrap up a five-game homestand. Try to go 4-1. This get in. Back for Green. Oh, backdoor feet off the stick of Kuznetsov. He was wide open. Green just makes that look so casual. I mean, he's about eight feet in front of me on that play right there. Looking one way and just makes an innocent looking pass goal the other way. Right on the tape. Now Laterra up front here with Tarasenko. Laterra has scored the Blues' first goal. Drops it. Tarasenko a shot. And that's just wide. And then Ian Cole down the boards, Laterra. That is broken up by Shimera. And then moved along by Green. So Green and Niskanen paired together. Look out here, Ovechkin a drive, blocked by Cole. And then held in by Carlson. A little give and go play, Ovechkin a pass block. And now Jaden Schwartz flies up the middle. No shot is there. Makes the safe play back of the goal. He okay, looked over his left shoulder to see if he was getting any help. Held on to it for an extra second and then knew that he had to get rid of it. And here comes number eight again. That shot tip wide. Petrangelo ahead. Chipped out by Schwartz for Bollmeister. Tough angle. Takes a shot anyhow. And that was tip wide. And they grab by Steen. Steen to the front. Schwartz does a 360. Now defers to Petrangelo, red shot, short side and a save by Peters. And then back to the goal. And then Petrangelo had it knocked off his stick. And Backstrom away for the Caps. Now to Carlson, off the shin pad of Bollmeister. Backus out of the box, along with Wilson, and Wilson stole it from Backus. And here he comes. Two on two for Ovechkin. And he was belted by Backus. And the blows the other way. And Ovechkin back on his skates, gets it at center ice. And he becomes entangled with Shattenkirk. Oh, if I'm on the ice now, Darren, I keep my head up. Yeah, Ovechkin gave Shattenkirk a little pop to the left side of his head. And a drive by Brower and a save by Elliott. Good save. And we get a whistle. Good to calm things down right there, too. Hot action here at Scott Trade. Blues leading 3-1. Well, we talked in our open, a, a line to watch based on their performance and getting big Patrick Berglund back on the left wing and TJ Oshie returning for the second game after that concussion. And of course, the captain, David Back, who's got a goal. Our Nissan.com check of the game. Well, it's a four check. It's Berglund putting some pressure on the goaltender and it results in a pop up play by Justin Peters and a key goal in this game to get away from that one goal margin, add to that and make it a 3-1 game. Two-goal cushion the Blues have right now. Trying to go five and one against the East. And they will head East on Tuesday against Boston. Face off one there by Stasby. And around to Steen. And chucked that by Stasby. He's knocked down by Brower. But it comes to center right. Shots in the game 31-21 for the Blues. Johansson walks in. Going wide on Shattenkirk. Right in front off the skate of Stasby. Ends up back of the goal. Gunnarsson there. Now ahead to Ott. And he's balled on the far side, but works over Niskanen. Now Alster comes in for the point of shot, and that goes high with a screen in front of Elliott. And then Brower for all. Shot and that was off the either the arm or the goal post and out of play. Sounded like a hit bit of the pipe right there on the short side. Also, with two real good scoring chances. 
And there was a little battle that was going on in front of the net as well. And Paul Stastny was defending on that battle. And big Troy Brower. Brower goes 6'3", 215 pounds. And he just gave him a reverse cross check. And that does go off the shoulder and off the bar. Off the short side bar. Now Bacchus against Backstrom. And it trickles back to Carlson now for Orpik, the former Penguin. In the slot, Wilson. That's blocked by Petrangelo. And then a big hit by Bergman. But it comes back to Carlson. Fakes it. Orpik, left point. That shot. And a save by Elliott. And the Blues finally get it. And Oki on his knees near the line. Now gets some support from Bergman. Back to Petrangelo. And finally back is out of the zone and whips it high and wide, and that's going to be an icing call. Back has had some time there, but I think he tried to shoot that on goal from his own line. Yeah, I agree with you. He does that quite often, actually, and a couple of shifts to go there. Ovechkin just hammers Shattenkirk and then gives him a little left forearm right to the side of the head, a little whack right there. So there's been some frustration on the behalf of uh, Ovechkin, because the Blues are doing a phenomenal job against him. Backus wins the faceoff from the Kuznets off. You'd rather have him worried about, worried about the hacking and whacking and the physical part of it. It takes him away from maybe the offensive side and the kind of chances he can get. Oh, what a play there by Oshie. Drops it for Schwartz. Oopsie. And he broke his stick. Petrangelo does it. And that shot tipped high and wide after some dangling by TJ Oshie. Oh, she's sliding and gliding and elusive as ever as Petrangelo make, gains his own whoop right there. And then he drops it back to Schwartz and the stick had obviously been previously snapped right at the, uh, where the shaft joins the blade right there, right at the heel of it. And thanks for coming. That's bad luck there. Under seven to play here in the third period. Alatera, it's set against Burakovsky. Instead, Schwartz steps in. And the draw is won by Burakovsky. This kid in, center ice feed. And that goes wide of Elliott. Now to an open side, Jackman races over. The Capitals defense, they are pinching at every opportunity here. Johansson down low, now for Arkoski. In some traffic, back to Alster. And then Niskanen, hide by Laterra. Alster a drive up high, off the glass, and maybe over the glass, we have a whistle, and maybe a high stick. Well, the holidays are right around the corner, and the Blue sales staff has two great options for you to attend several of those games. A free game pack starting at $99, or a five-game pack, which includes the Tarasenko bobblehead night on March 12th. Purchase either holiday pack before December 5th, and you'll get the December 8th game against Florida for free. For more details, call 314-622-BLUE. Here's Petrangelo for Stasby. And then on, off the boards to himself. Steen's in front, missed it, now boldly for a drive, and that was blocked in front by Wilson. And the Capitals head the other way. Backstrom now into the zone to Carlson, wrist shot, and scooped up by the left glove of Elliott. And we get a break, 5.41 to go in the third, and the Blues leading by two. Time now for our Plaza Tire Service shot comparison. And as you take a look at Alexander Ovechkin, more on the physical side for Ovechkin. Getting involved in some of the chippiness going on in this hockey game as well. Trying to spur his Washington Capitals back in the game. Seven total for Tarasenko. And, and uh, Tarasenko was asked the first time he noticed the play of Ovechkin because really he watched his father so often. He wasn't too caught up in NHL players or Russian-born players like that. But he said the 2006 at, at Turin in the Olympics. And Ovechkin was asked about Tarasenko. And he says, well, the first time I saw him in 2011 at the World Junior Championships in Buffalo. I knew he was a special player. And of course they were teammates last year on the Russian Olympic team that disappointed at Sochi. If you're no question a fan of the Russians 
on home soil. So much pressure on home ice. That's what makes Canada's gold medal in 2010 that much more remarkable. Now it is Oshie down low with Kirkman. And that goes wide. Yeah, it's either win or bust if you're the home team like that, Darren. And now it's fair, but he can't get around Shattenkirk. And then back to center ice. Well, he's making a quick change here. Schmidt at center. And that's scooped by Elliott with five minutes left here in the third period. Up the middle now for Laterra. Laterra, Schwartz, and back as the Blues. Joel Ward has scored the Capitals' goal. And here's Laterra again. He goes for a skate. Hit back to the goal now for Bollmeister. Off the board, good pass to Schwartz. And then he spun around back of the goal. Puts one in front, and that's by Petrangelo and back into the blue zone. And attorney Petrangelo on to center ice. Grabbed by Tarasenko. And he gets it deep. This get in, worked over by Stasby. And then, oh, what a hit by Ott on Wilson. Kept in a shot. Now Petrangelo in the slot for Steen. Lost the handle, kept in by Petrangelo. Steen, one-touch pass, Bollmeister, a shot, and that goes wide. And I think Ott had Wilson in his sights for the bench. Here's Steen back at the line. Long drive, kicked away by Peters. Ott again on Wilson. He's a marked man. Now he goes down. Shattenkirk gets it. Fresh shot and a blocker save by Peters. And then Wilson chips it down the ice, and he'll have to stay out there because that's an icing call. Wilson just getting hammered by Ott. Couple in a row. The, the first one, it looked like he was just oblivious to this possibly happening on the far side. He plays it and then doesn't think that Ott's going to go through him. And he was a little lackadaisical. This one he prepares for it. And, uh, but Ott does an excellent job uh, against the guy that's been going through as many blues in this game as possible. And again, must stay on the ice after the icing call. 335 left. It'll be Bergman against Backstrom. Sweet against Sweet. Backstrom wins it. And Alzner to center. Scooped up by Petrangelo. Up the middle now for Backus. Cruises down the wall for Oshie. Great pass. And we could see Patrick Berglund's game gaining a little more confidence in the first 30 minutes, especially in the game against the Nashville Pre Predators, and feel a little bit more confident. And you can see on the left side of your screen, there's Berglund. And he's coming in, coming in, and Oshie just makes a perfect, perfect pass right there, right on the tape, right beyond the stick of Backstrom. And, and Berglund makes no mistake beating the goaltender on the stick side. His second of the year, first in six games. And it's 4-1. Here's a drive by Green, tipped on goal by Johansson and a save by Elliott. Now Johansson back on goal. Forced to his backhand. Now back in front. Brower tips it. Then a shot. And that goes wide. Oshie and Backus get the assist. On the goal by Bergman at 16-41. And that was some pretty passing there on that goal. Now Johansson back for John Carlson. Well, I knew that Bergman was feeling a lot better about himself. John, confidence-wise, when he, in the pregame warm-up, when I interviewed him and I, I said, that Ovechkin can really shoot the puck, and his response was, well, I can shoot the puck, too. <laughs> That's a great response. <laughs> As Ian Cole drives it in deep. Now around to Green, and the uh, high flipper comes down at center ice. Now Jackman for Reeves. Schmidt to Niskanen, and now ahead to Ward. With exactly two minutes left here in the third period. 
Long shot by Schmidt. Blocked in front by Reed. Scooped up by Fair. In front. That's blocked by Jackman. The Predators won tonight at home, so... The Blues will maintain their one-point lead atop the Central. Long pass to Ward. And then Bowie to try from upside. Here is Stasny. Stay with us here on Fox Sports Midwest. Missouri Lottery Blues Live comes your way next. All the highlights with Joel and Bernie. Darren will be down near the Blues locker room. Oh, we got, here we got Coach. Look at bobblehead dolls to give, a, give away. You know what? Hanger Player of the Week stuff going on. You have many candidates, my friend. Many. Many. Might be a trio of winners. Who knows? Steen and Lana right off the faceoff here. A little jab at each other. It's been a feisty game for two teams that don't play each other an awful lot. Exactly. <laughs> this team will meet again in early February at Verizon Center. And Elliott. Banks one ahead for Shattenkirk. And his pass behind Steen. And they indicate icing here against the Blues. Well, Latta and Steen there battling the faceoff dotted. Big Brian Reeves, John Kelly over to my right. He's uh, he just mentioning to Latta that he, if he gets on the ice. <laughs> And then Latta went for a change, and Ryan Reeves says that's a good change. <laughs> 19,339 on hand tonight. They've seen a good one as the Bulls lead 4 1. Here's Gunnarsson. And that's funneled around the boards all the way down. And no ice in that. Had a capital player. Now Greenback. Checked by Schwartz, kept in by Jackman. And then Laterra battles. And then lob the center ice. Here's Cole's feed. Now grabbed by Tarasenko, whose seven-game point streak is on the line here. And that's dumped in by Laterra. Blue's about to go to 12-4-1. Jackman comes in front, Reeves with it, and that'll do it, a 4-1 victory by the Blues over the Capitals. Just a solid all-round victory. A good start to the game, knowing Washington played last night. The first 20 minutes was strong, and certainly the line that we pointed out to watch in this game was terrific as well, led by David Backus, Oshie, Patrick Berglund. Again, the Blues get scoring from the Latera Schwartz line as well, and I thought Shattenkirk had an exceptional game on the blue line.